Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video. And this is just a couple highlights that I picked up from the Steam development live stream. I caught a, a little bit of it and they said some interesting things about the Steam Deck. They said if you want to use an FPS limiter, uh, limiting it to 30 frames per limiting your games to 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second that would help um, optimize battery life and valve said that they are actually going to do a global um, they're going to do a global fps limiter for games that don't like offer fps limiting of 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second uh, the screen is actually 60 hertz, so the cap of the screen, if you want to do V-Sync, is going to be 30 frames per second. So I thought that was pretty interesting that they're saying that V-Sync or capping your frame rate is going to help battery life. I personally didn't know that. Then uh, they went on to say that yeah, the, the APU, as they've stated many times, it doesn't change clocks, and the 45 USB. USB-C port can charge and you know you'll be able to play at the same time pretty standard on any electronic device in like the last 10-15 years and then they went in and they went into the you know things that everybody knows but it does have a dedicated DAC and they said how complex everything is so it can do sound over the DAC with headphones, there's a Bluetooth, there's support for HDMI audio and DisplayPort audio, and of course it has built-in speakers. Those are highlights um, from the parts that I picked up. They did say something interesting though. They said that uh, the way that the Steam Deck was designed thermally was designed for long gaming sessions. They gave this example and they said if you're in Florida in July on the hottest day there running a Steam Deck and it's very humid outside and hot, you're going to run into some issues. They didn't say what issues. They didn't really describe it. But they said that is a use case where if you're in an apartment in Florida with no AC, you're pretty much going to have a problem with the Steam Deck probably thermally and who knows it'll probably thermal throttle if it's in a really hot and humid environment is what i'm guessing that's why they threw florida out there so if you're in a very hot area uh you might you might want to think about not getting a steam deck um if that's a huge issue because um you probably want to have the steam deck operating in a you know, a place that's below 30 Celsius or below 85 degrees Fahrenheit to be functioning normally is what my guess is. Uh, they also said that the Steam Deck, the 64 gigabyte EMMC is 25% slower than the NVMe SSDs in terms of booting. So 25%, few seconds slower. So doesn't seem like that big of a deal. They were asked in the Q&A session, will there be spare parts store and when will it happen? And they basically had no comment on when the store spare parts store will be launched. They just said it's coming. So they didn't give a date. So we still don't know when the spare parts store is going to be open and you know how long after launch it it'll take and then they said the goal of the steam deck is to be multi-generational so there's gonna be a second generation it seems like they're probably already working on the second generation so you know they're plan they're planning on having a version two or a version three i guess at this point so that's interesting to hear because people are already waiting to get version one. So by the time people get their hands on version one, they might already be announcing version two. 
because with these delays and everything, who knows how long it's going to take people to get version one. So I don't know. Being optimistic, hopefully they can get Steam Decks into people's hands faster, fa as fast as possible. But you know, if if it takes a long time for them to get into people's hands for the people who pre-ordered for some people who are in Q4 2020 2022 um, or who are going to be Q1 2023 I guess now because everybody got pushed back um, it might just make sense to wait for the version 2 if you're in Q if you're in Q4 2022 it's probably a good assumption you could just wait and then valve announces a new one and then you get the version two because if they do kind of what you know most tech companies do come out with a new version every year maybe valve won't do that maybe they'll just do one every four or five years and be more console like but you never know you never know it's a brand new product I have no idea. It's just pure speculation. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, Steam Deck, of course, as I pointed out in my last video and everybody got the email, is delayed. So um, I thought that multi-generational thing was interesting. And I really wonder what the time frame is on that. But, yeah, this is the uh, video that they have. Uh, I'll leave it in the video description so you guys can go and check it out. And um, yeah, just comment on um, if you guys saw this and uh, the interesting things that you think about uh, Valve and their development live stream. I'd be interested to hear some of your guys' thoughts. All right, see you guys in the next one. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see ya.